Good morning, matcha lovers. It's a crazy hair day today. I've been trying to figure out how to film this video on a tutorial for a few of the cafes that we're working with. I wanna make sure that uh, we have all the training materials that everyone's gonna need to make the perfect cup of matcha. We have our matcha, we have our sifter, the large camera. I'm gonna be training them on a pre-batching technique that actually doesn't make the matcha taste bad so that whenever someone comes in for a matcha, it's always consistent, which is the most important thing. So, go. All right, so we just wrapped up. So you can see that uh, they work. Sana's coming back from the gym right now and she's gonna film. So I have to make it look like I wasn't even here. Hey, boo -boo, sit. Good, sit, stay. Down, down, down. Come. Yeah. I'm heading out in a second, but Sana's actually home today filming. And look at what she made. Looks delicious. Freaking delicious. I get ready. I have to finalize one thing. I have to finish the printed instructions for everyone. So I'm gonna wrap up uh, real quick, and then I have about 30 minutes, and I'm gonna get out of here because the drive to Costa Mesa is about like 45 minutes. I have to leave in a second, and I hear Sana's voice going, "Max, did you eat?" Sana makes me the tastiest food. Do you love me? Food is my love language too. Receiving food is my love language and cooking for me is your love language. This relationship works out great. So the energy <laughs> coming back. Nutrients, brain health, connected. Unusual fashion, I am an hour and nine minutes away. Wait, so that means I'm gonna be four minutes late. Anyway, I'm so excited. This is gonna be our first training with coffee dose, and uh, we're really excited to be working with them. So let's see uh, how today goes. Just wrapped up the training and I cleaning up my little area here. What is today? The date? Seven. It's amazing because all the partners we work with are so friendly and so inviting. Every time we partner with a new cafe, we always feel like we're being brought into their community. They definitely know how to make us feel at home here at Coffee Dose. So if you're in Costa Mesa and you want a great cup of matcha or coffee, you have to hit up Coffee Dose. Happy that we're here. They offered me lunch, so I got a keto bowl or a keto plate. It's three pieces of bacon, eggs, and avocado. It's exactly what I would make at home, so. I've officially made it. Not only is Nekoama here at Coffee Dose, but I've been given a token bitch. A to I have five token bitches? <laughs> it's the best. All right, and we're off. Two hour drive home in traffic, but it was completely worth making the trip down here. Absolutely. I gave the free batch of time. That was so much fun. What I'm realizing now is that uh, a lot of people take matcha so seriously, but you can also have fun with it. And uh, I'm learning more and more that uh, the more fun you have with uh, matcha, the better that it's gonna taste. Because we need to get creative. Oh, wait, this is not my car. I just tried to break into someone's car. Their car was substantially dirtier than ours. Ours is pretty dirty too. I don't feel like I can really talk because I'm pretty messy too. So my friend Ali is the founder of Neat Coffee and they are a little ways away from here but there is a barista that is leaving the team and they're doing a little goodbye party right now. So I am going to go and stop by and surprise them. Neat is a really nice cafe. Not only do they have really, really good coffee but the community there and the energy and the vibe that I guess Ali has created there is literally top, top. And I'm just excited that, uh, I don't know, all of our partners are becoming friends and people that you know we actually want to spend time with. And that's a really good sign. I can't think of uh, anything that I would rather be doing than this with the people that I'm doing it with. So if you've supported Nekohama, watched a vlog, followed us on Instagram or anything at all, uh, you've been a part of that journey. And uh, 
I want to thank you for that. So here we go, another cafe. All right, we're here. How cute is this cafe? It's so well done. Ali's really done an amazing job here. Not just the building community, but also just creating an amazing space for everyone to come to. Let's go check out Neat. That wraps up a long day at Nekohama. We did a lot today. I woke up, I think, at 4.45, and I was in the gym at 5. I'm one of the first people there. It always feels really good when you're like the first one waiting at the door, and at like 4.59, they open the door for you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm so glad that you're here following the journey of Nekohama. This is really turning into almost a daily vlog. <laughs> I'm vlogging almost every single day. We'll be traveling a lot a little bit coming up. I'll be in Copenhagen. I will be back in Amsterdam. Uh, we get to go to Japan and this time we're going with Alyssa, uh, one of our friends, her boyfriend, and then I think a few other people might be joining along too. So anyway, we're really excited. Thank you for joining for today. Thank you for being a part of it and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.